All right, welcome to the second video of this series. In the first video, we built this simple Spring Boot and Spring Data REST API. And so if you have not checked out the first video, definitely start there because this is building on top of that. In this video, we're going to be deploying that application into an EC2 instance right here. And we're going to run some load against that application using a Gatling simple scenario. So what we have here is this simple instance running in EC2. This is just an Ubuntu 16.04 instance with Java installed and not much else. This just has the application ready to go and we have this SSH session opened against it. Now our library application is already prepared here. This is a jar and we have it under opt app. Right, so we have the jar here, and what we're going to do is we're simply going to run it. Remember, we're not looking for the best way to deploy the application. We're just looking for a simple way to do that. In a production-grade application, there are certainly better ways to deploy. But right now, we're going to just do And there we go. The process was started, and the application is deploying. And we're all good. Now the application is running, let's hit it in the browser and let's make sure that at least the health endpoint is available and is responding with OK. And there we go. The health status is up, so we are ready to go. The application is running and it's able to accept the load that we're going to be putting on it with our Gatling test. So let's get that started. Let's get that opened up in IntelliJ. We're going to be using IntelliJ for the Gatling test because, well, IntelliJ has better Scala support. And so let's get that repository cloned out of GitHub and opened up in IntelliJ. All right, so first of all, let's clone the repo. We're going to grab the repo URL here and we're going to do a quick git clone. And now let's open up the project in IntelliJ. So let's import the project, Gatling reference, okay, import it as a Maven project. And that's it. So this is our pre-configured Gatling starting point. It's pre-configured because the test is actually quite simple, so you can simply clone the project and run this yourself once, of course, you have the application deployed, either locally if you want to do it locally or just in an EC2 instance of your own. Let's make this larger. And of course, point it to the right instance, to the public IP of the EC2 instance or just to localhost if you're running on localhost. And then you can run this with a Maven simple command. We can actually set that up right here in configurations. We can add our Maven command. We can just do a clean install and we can name this build. So let's run this and let's see how this looks. Remember, this is already configured and we're going to go through it in a second, but let's first trigger it and allow it to run because it is going to take maybe 45 seconds to run. All right, while this is running, let's actually have a look at the scenario itself. What are we doing here? What are we actually trying to achieve? Let's make this smaller and let's go through the scenario. So first of all, notice that we're going to do a get on the root of our library application. We're going to just do a get on the root and we're of course going to be expecting a 200 okay, right? The next step is we're going to do a get on books, again, expecting a 200 okay. We're then going to create a random book, very simple, just a new title and a new ISBN uh, and we're going to be expecting a 201 created. And finally, we're going to do a paginated get. We're going to get the second page of the, of the book list and we're going to naturally expect back a 200 okay. 
Now, in terms of the load that we're actually putting on this application, we are simply going with a constant users per second. We're going with 60 users per second during a period of 30 seconds. So as I was talking here, the test was running. So by this point, everything should actually be finished. Let's have a look and let's see what's going on. So because this load is a non-trivial amount of load and amount of utilization of our application, and because the application, remember, it's running on a T2 small type of instance, and so that doesn't really have a lot of processing power or memory available or any other kind of resources, we're seeing here that a majority of these requests are actually taking over 1.2 seconds. Just a small minority, 6% of these requests are being answered in under uh, 800 milliseconds. Now, obviously, this is just a very quick overview. We can actually see the full report here. We can just copy the link, right, the path to this report. We can go back to the browser and we can just open this up here. And now we're getting a lot more information, including this breakdown of uh, response times, but also distributions of how many active users were at any point in the simulation, the response time distribution where we can see a few interesting scenarios. We're going to talk more about those in the next video. And then we can also see a number of other very, very important uh, details, which again, we're going to be discussing in the next video. So that is it. Now we have the application simply running on an EC2 instance and we have a very basic but still relevant Gatling scenario running load against that application. And just to wrap up, let's actually have a very quick look at the monitoring right here in EC2. Remember, this actually does also have uh, its own monitoring. So let's make that a little bit larger and let's see. And you can see here this run, this is our current run that has spiked the CPU a bit. And you can also see that there was a previous run that I did in preparation for this video. So I ran that right before I started to record this video here. All right, there we go. We are ready to go. And in the next video, as I was saying, we're going to be exploring some of these scenarios and we're going to be starting to understand how Gatling works and more importantly, how we can actually improve the throughput and the overall performance of our simple boot application. All right, hope you're excited for the next one. See you soon.